Now then, what we have here, this is a coffee table in the shape of mainland USA. And I can't quite work out whether this is slightly naff or actually quite cool. I only ever made two of these tables and they were to remind me of holidays I had where I drove across the continents. One was of USA and one was of Australia. Now one of the design features was that I included the Great Lakes. There's all five of them there in a slightly lighter colour because I only used two wood stain coats instead of three. And instead of going for ordinary straight legs I went for these Queen Anne style legs which you could quite easily get at B&Q. The edges there are quite rough but you can quite clearly see the layers of ply. Now each state had its own name and this was done using Letraset where you would rub each individual letter onto the wood. And you can see it's quite a struggle keeping them all straight. The borders of the states were initially just drawn on in pencil but I then had an idea of using a soldering iron to burn in the state borders and fill the air with a load of burning wood smell. But they actually came out quite well. Nice little ridges showing all the state borders. So let's turn the table over now to see how it was constructed. So the baseboard was another piece of wood, obviously a bit smaller, just glued onto the main map. And it did make the table rather heavy though. So the legs were just screwed into the baseboard with two PosiDrive screws there. And then they were finished off by putting a felt top there to stop it scratching the floor. Now the positioning of the legs was just a random decision. I just sort of put them on the baseboard, tried to make the table as stable as possible and then just screwed them into the baseboard. As you can see I've done rather a bodge here on the back of Florida. I've had to glue a steel rule onto it purely to strengthen it because people were tripping over it. I had to do something otherwise it would just get snapped off. This is how I started off, just a piece of rosewood plywood, 8 foot by 4 foot and half an inch thick. Next, the map that I used to navigate across the states. This one was a scale of about 1 to 4 million, which works out about 55 miles to the inch. Incidentally, the Australia map that I used had a very similar scale, so the relative sizes of the map tables are about right. After tracing the map edges onto the plywood, I then used a handsaw to cut away the main bits of wood. Um, a jigsaw might have been easier, but I actually just used files and a handsaw. Here's a picture of me sanding down the table just before I stained it. There were three coats of wood stain and three coats of varnish on top. So here's the Australia table. Now this is a lot lighter because there's no baseboard and also the legs are slightly shorter. So it's a lot lower in profile. The uh, state legends were done in a slightly better typeface this time. But I used the same technique for that and the borders. And a lot of the Australia borders are straight, which actually are more difficult to do with the soldering iron. I used a slightly darker wood stain on the Australia table, more of a sort of brown rather than a rosewood. But the uh, feet were essentially mounted in the same way, but this time directly onto the map rather than onto the baseboard. So there they are, map tables.